Our first speaker is Superior Court Judge So. Judge So has been instrumental in the development of this project. He has chaired the new Central Courthouse Judicial Advisory Group. The input from this committee of judges has been valuable, and we appreciate the guidance provided by them under the leadership of Judge So. Judge So, will you please join me on the podium and give your remarks. Thank you for coming and sharing this day with us. This really is a milestone in the construction of our courthouse. As president and CEO, Martin Sizemore is the corporate officer in charge of Rudolph and Sutton. Mr. Sizemore began his career with Rudolph and Sutton in 1983 and has been integral in the success of more than three or 4,000 projects over his tenure. He remains actively involved in many current projects to ensure our teams are delivering on our project goals of cost, quality, and schedule. Mr. Sizemore attended the University of California, Davis, and earned himself a Bachelor in Civil Engineering and is a registered civil engineer. Mr. Sizemore, please come up to the podium. Well, about two years ago now, and about 300 feet from where I'm standing, just over there, we had a groundbreaking celebration with a much, much, much smaller crowd. It marked the beginning of this remarkable project, and for some of you, remarked a point in time of decades worth of involvement in the development and generation of this magnificent project. Today's gathering is kind of a tradition in our industry. It marks a key milestone. It's the topping out. Many myths and legends are associated with the topping out celebration, but the one I choose to acknowledge and celebrate is the fact that this goes back to uh, Northern European roots, where the families and the communities got together and celebrated the topping out, the placement of the last beam in one of their uh, new construction projects. And to celebrate that, they threw a party. Part of that party was uh, the hoisting of the last beam that set the ridge for the roof. It marked a specific point in time where the project is now completed from a structural standpoint and then concentrated on the interior finishes. Today, as part of this uh, ceremony at the tradition that we've carried forward from its Northern European roots through the immigrants that have come over to the United States, is the beam, the last beam that you see over here. Lastly, this building serves as a monument to some of the ideals that we most cherish as a nation, justice and due process. For our partners and construction teams, it also stands as a monument to what can be achieved when we work together collaboratively. For some of you, this may be the first opportunity you've seen to fully appreciate the size and scale and complexity of this project and what a welcome addition it is to the skyline of San Diego. For that, welcome to the team. If you've signed the beam today, rest assured that now you are a part of this building that will serve this community for a long time, keeping this community at the forefront of justice and good doings uh, throughout the years and years and years to come. He was elected as council member for District 3 in 2008. He is well recognized for his advocacy for the homeless. He also sits on the board of directors for MTS and SANDAG, two agencies we've worked with very closely through the course of this project. Council member Gloria was recognized nationally as one of the nation's most promising young leaders in American Government Fellowship Program in uh, 2013. He is behind many of the positive developments and changes we see in downtown and the rest of District 3. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Councilman T Todd Gloria. But this is a significant project for our city, for our county, for our state, and I would say, dare, I would dare say for our country. Uh, I want to start by thanking everyone who's been involved in this effort. You know, half billion dollar public projects don't just happen. 
They're the result of a great deal of advocacy from people at all levels of government, all levels of our community. Uh, one was mentioned earlier, my good friend, Supervisor Greg Cox. Uh, Greg is a name many of you probably have heard of, but you don't, what you may not know is that he works every single day on our behalf, doing great things all in the South Bay and for our county. Greg, thanks for the instrumental work that you did to make sure this project was possible. I really appreciate it. I also want to acknowledge that uh, uh, our assembly speaker, Emeritus Tony Atkins, who is the assembly member for this community. You know, this is state money. It typically flows uh, where the speaker is. The speaker has some juice, and she used her juice to get this project done. I'm grateful to Tony Atkins for her great leadership up in Sacramento, bringing home good projects for our community. And of course, to all our judges, who are probably the happiest folks who are here today, how many of you all have been in the old courthouse with the old courtrooms? I recently had an opportunity to go over there. I, I don't go there often. I'm really happy about that. Uh, I hadn't been there in some time. Let's just say it does not match our expectations of being America's finest city. But what you all are building, what we are building, uh, more closely matches that. And I think all of our judges cannot wait for later this year when you all move into those new, those new digs. And, I, and I, I will come visit you just once, just to cut the ribbon, and then that's it. We don't need to see each other anymore.